Right now, when you buy a 20 pack of cigarettes in Oregon, $1.33 of that goes to taxes. When you buy vaping products, no such taxes. Generally speaking, for a consumer, smoking is relatively cheap in Oregon. Measure 108 would shake this up. According to public health research, tobacco use is the number one cause of preventable death in Oregon, and a rising number of young Oregonians are using e-cigarettes, which can lead to other tobacco addictions. Measure 108 would raise state taxes on tobacco distributors. It would also apply Oregon's first tax on nicotine delivery systems, like e-cigarettes. Those taxes get passed down to buyers as higher prices. Supporters say the main goal is to improve public health by first making it more expensive to buy tobacco and e-cigarettes, and second, using that new tax money to help fund healthcare in Oregon. Here's how it'll work. Voting yes means the measure goes through and the new tax rates kick in starting January 2021. That's a tax increase from $1.33 to $3.33 per 20 pack of cigarettes, a 50 cent increase in tax cap per cigar, and a totally new 65% tax on wholesale prices for nicotine inhalants, like e-cigarettes. Oregon's Legislative Revenue Office estimates that these tax hikes would bring in about $350 million for the state in the next two years. That money would go to the Oregon Health Plan, the state's Medicaid system, as well as other public health programs. For context, this would come at a time when the state is forecasted to lose billions in state revenue in the coming years due to the coronavirus pandemic. Voting no means the tax increase is rejected. The revenue stream for the state doesn't materialize and smokers keep a status quo in prices. That no scenario happened in 2007. A similar cigarette tax increase was on the general election ballot that year, and it was handily defeated due to strong opposition funded by the tobacco industry, which outspent proponents three to one. But this time around, Measure 108 built up a well-funded campaign, including almost $9 million in contributions from seven health systems that do business in Oregon. Supporters view this as a win-win. The state needs money, and this seems like an efficient way to improve health care for Oregonians while increasing revenue. But the counter-argument for this kind of tax policy, known as a sin tax, is well established. Research by the Pew Charitable Trusts suggests that though measures like 108 may support public health objectives, they don't work as long-term budget fixes. That's because as prices increase, sales tend to decrease and so does the tax revenue. Can I do for you? Also, the tax hikes won't just be felt by smokers. It will also disproportionately impact Oregon small businesses that rely on tobacco sales. Smoke shops and convenience stores already reeling from lost revenue and closures because of the pandemic. It's a question of what is the greater public good, one that's made more pressing during these trying times. Take care, ma'am. We'll see you next time. Thank you.